Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. So I was on my forum yesterday and a user named Emma K is asking about how to make a layered Christmas tree ornament. And she writes on here, I've tried, but I can't get it to work out. And what she wants is a Christmas tree and then another Christmas tree slightly smaller on top, just the outline for the layer with someone's name going across, a little hole in the top to hang it up. So really easy to do. Lots of people do these layered Christmas ornaments. I do a lot of them myself. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into Lightburn and show Emma just how to do this from scratch, completely designed all on our own. All right, so let me show you how I got started. This is just the graphic that I got off of my forum that the user was looking to copy. The question was, how do I create something like this? I can't figure it out or something like that. So this is what I've come up with over here. It's a very simple thing. It's, you know, just using the line tool to draw. And what I've done here is I've taken this graphic, which, you know, you don't want to just copy and trace it because this is somebody else's graphic that they've drawn. So I've drawn my own. And what I did was I came over here to the pencil tool and I started over here and I drew over this one. Now I don't want to draw the same exact thing. So I'm just going to draw something that's similar proportions. So I'm just going to keep clicking on, on different points without being exactly the same. Something like that. And I think I only did one, two, three, I, I believe. Uh, well, well, we'll go ahead and do one more just for good measure something like that and what i do is i only draw half i've got half of it drawn so i'm going to right click to get rid of the line tool come to the selector tool select it i'm going to drag it out like that now we've got the beginnings of our project here so you see that this one looks almost exactly like this one except with one extra branch i guess you would call it or whatever and the only difference here now is this one's nice and smoothed out. We'll come over here and grab this one. We'll come over here to the left side toolbar to node edit. And there you can see all of the commands with the pop-up window. The ones we're going to use is S to smooth, M to insert a node. And that's pretty much all we need right here. We're going to come over here, pass our mouse in the middle here. We're going to press the M key to put one in the middle. Press the M key, M key. M key, M key. And I probably should have said to do it at the same time. M and then S, and we're just going to go back and do the S key now on all of those, like so. And now what we can do here is bring this in a little bit like that, bring this one in a little bit like that, and you see how we're getting our, our look. You see, just moving it down a little bit like that. And now we've got most of this already smoothed out. If I select it, you can see there's half of our tree. So at this point, all I would do is select it, press control and the letter D to duplicate it. And now you see all of the little Vegas lights went away. It's duplicated. I can come up here to the top and mirror it like that. And now we have our mirrored selection that we can move over. And our Christmas tree is pretty close to done here, boys and girls. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly the same as that, but it's pretty close. And, you know, again, this is starting from scratch. So if I come in here back to the node edit tool once again and zoom in on these corners, you'll see that I can just very simply uh, click and drag on them and join them together. So that one is now joined. I'll come down here to the bottom and I'll drag these two together like that. If I don't like the way this is, I can move it around until I get it, you know, exactly the way that I want it. And there we have our Christmas tree. And you see how simple that was? And then a lot of people say, okay, well, what about the star? And the star is a very simple, primitive shape. I will come over here on the left side and I will do the polygon. I'll click on that polygon tool. I'll hold shift so I get a perfect polygon like that. I'll come over here and select it. On the right side, I'll go to Shape Properties. If you don't see Shape Properties here, 
on your tabs or maybe down here wherever it is on your screen right click on the title bar of any window and come down here and check it right here shape properties if you don't see it if there's a check mark it's visible if there's not it's not we're going to change this sides to five so that we have a, a star and then we're going to come up here and flip it so that the star is right side up and at this point again we're going to come back to the pencil tool because this is not really even though it's a star it's not a star so we'll grab the pencil tool one more time when it turns into a bullseye we can click and we're just going to uh, bullseye every single um, corner that's in here just by clicking around to all of the different corners like this every time we see the bullseye we're going to do that when when we hit the last bullseye it'll automatically close now we can come in here and select that shape drag it off and what we're going to do now is offset it if we offset it by zero and not one see the one would be kind of funky looking so we're going to leave it at zero and say okay and we drag off the offset we now have our perfect star and we can get rid of those tools and we can bring our star up here and then size it to fit you get the idea quick and simple that's how we went from having nothing taking our pencil tool and designing something very similar to this one here let's get rid of these two that we've just designed because I already have two designed right here and basically what we've got right now is we've got the bottom layer the base layer if I put this into fill you can see that this is a filled layer here and all we're gonna do is cut out this one and this will be a filled base layer but we also need this second layer that goes right on top here so what we're gonna do is select this guy here we're gonna offset it and we're going to offset it inward you have outward you have inward you have both you can actually do this either way it makes no difference actually outward outward probably looks a little better so we'll do outward and then select the size over here and I think that looks pretty good right there and we're gonna say okay so now we have the outward part which would be the base and this one is the inward so let's pull that outward off for now now let's work on the inside one the inside one has to be two lines so we're going to offset that one as well but this one we're going to offset inward and we're going to say okay now at this point we're going to join these two by grouping them together up here so we'll hit the group button and we now have the inward and the outward if we were to take the outside one here and bullseye it on top of that one you'll see that we have a similar design as to what's right here so let's get that outward one back off there's our outward there's our first layer here's our second layer I guess I'm saying this wrong might sound confusing so first layer second layer and if we look at it you can get an idea of what I'm talking about this is the base layer, which will just be cut out of a piece of wood. This is the second layer, which goes on top, which would also be cut out on both sides. The only thing we have left to do is the star. The star is going to be stuck onto that base layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate by pressing Control and the letter D, because we want to leave that star there for this one. And we're going to move this one off over to here. Now I'm going to get it up pretty close to the top like that. And this is the tricky part you'll see in a minute. So now you can see we have these two together. They have to overlap perfectly. So we have to make sure that they're perfectly overlapped. So I'm just going to move this by hand till they're perfectly overlapped. And now I can select both of these and weld them together over here on the left side. We'll hit weld like that. So there is our base right there now what we've got to do is take these two and figure out how much smaller we need to make that star I'm going to bring this over here we know that the star has to be a little bit smaller so I'll select it and then while holding control so that we scale proportionately from the middle I'm just going to scale this down some like that and now we have this if we bring this over here you'll see that it fits perfectly on top 
and we have exactly what we need. So that's it. That's all, that's all there is to it. There is our piece right there. The only thing that we'd need to do now is add the name. Now this will be a separate cutout that will be glued separately there. And we will need to have that hole, which I didn't think of right there in the middle for our string so that we can put it onto our Christmas tree, hang it from somewhere. So we're going to put these on top of each other like this. And then what I'm going to do temporarily is just group these so that they stay together. And I'm going to click off of it and I'm going to grab a circle over here, the circle tool. And I'm just going to hold shift and draw a circle. I'm going to grab that circle, bring it right here into the middle, close to the middle as I can get. I'm going to duplicate it, control in the letter D. Now the duplicate is selected. What I'm going to do now is hold shift and select the outside one because it's one piece and drag both of them off. And that's very important that we only select the outside one because this is two pieces here, which is now three pieces. So now we can group these together, move this off like that, and we can actually group all of these together. So if we were to take that, align it to this one with the bullseye you can see that it's perfectly aligned and it'll cut out perfectly and that's it so all we have to do now is take both of these put them onto a cut layer which is in line mode and we are ready to actually make this design and of course the last thing is adding the text and you know the text part is easy you're only going to do that on this layer right here because this is the top layer Let's put this into fill. There we go. It's better to see it this way because the preview is a cutout. So there we go. This is how it will actually work. This will cut out all the way around the outside. So this will be a solid base piece. And this will cut out all around the outside and the inside. And this will be the piece that lays right on top. Now to go a step further, we could even take and put this one on top of here and come back into line mode. Now you see these are our two right here. This is our top piece. We could attach these so that it cuts out all the same to make it easier to work with. So we have to ungroup, come into this one here, come into node edit, zoom in, and what we'll do is take this one and bring it up to here. And that's basically all we're gonna need to do we're going to come in and attach, break this apart and attach these. So we'll select this one. We're going to pass over here. We're going to hit the letter, the key B to break it. Move these two off to either side like that. We'll come to this one. We'll hit the B key again. We'll take this one, attach it to this one. And we'll take this one and attach it to this one like that. So now we have our star. We can come back to our selector mode. We're going to select the inside, select one of these, drag it off. And now we have a single attached piece that's going to cut out perfectly. And the only thing we have left to do at this point is to go ahead and put this back together by grouping it like that. Now it's grouped and we can go ahead and take our text. That, let's just do Walter. So now we've got Walter and we're gonna look for a fancy font, something like that. We will take our name Walter, bring it over here and go ahead and make it to size. Something like that. You can bring down your, your size there and we're gonna make this pretty much exactly like what you saw. All right, so now we can take these two and come up here to the uh, tools menu, to the Boolean assistant, and find out which one it is that's going to give us what we're looking for. And that is the union. So say OK to that. And now we have our final product. You'll see it's attached here. It's attached here. It's exactly like the image that we started with.
and we are ready now if I put this back into fill so you see what it, how it would come out this is the base layer here and this is the top layer which is just the second layer actually if I put this one to give you a, even a better view onto a blue instead now you can see and let me move the blue down so you can see it now you can see how perfect this is going to come out second layer on top and of course, I uh, left the I left the hole over there. <laughs> so we have to put both of these on the blue layer, and let's go ahead and group it so we don't do that again. And if I bring it over here and move that blue layer down, you can see there are two layers. That's how it will look, the final product. And voila, we have now got a copy. <laughs> a little weird stuff here and there, but. Uh, you know, this is all done live, so you get to see the little mistakes as they go. But ultimately, we wound up with the same exact Christmas tree. If I were doing this on my own without actually making the video and having to, uh, you know, catch myself step by step and making sure everything's right, well, I could probably do this in about three minutes flat. So there you go. Uh, really simple, easy uh, graphic to do. I know it, it looks confusing and everything else, but if you watch the video a couple times, you're going to find out that this is easier than it looks. It's kind of hard to teach, you know, If and like I said, if I were doing this on my own, I'd probably be able to do this whole thing in three minutes flat. So not a big deal. Once you get the hang of using the different tools in Lightburn, you'll become an expert at these and you can make as many layers as you want. You can have two, three, four, five, eight, ten layers. You just have to remember that you want the layer below the next layer you're designing to show. So the next layer that you design has to have more cutout or cutouts to show the layer below it and then solid parts in different places uh, away from the layer below it. So you just want to reveal what's underneath the last layer, in other words. And they're really simple to do. And this is a very basic, simple two-layer project where you're just offsetting the initial graphic and then, you know, adding a name to it. Very, very simple to do. It's a good practice graphic as well. So uh, I suggest that if you're new to Lightburn, make a bunch of these with all different people's names on it from scratch. Make them all different so they're all unique. And by the time that you finish four or five or six of these, you're going to be an expert at doing it. And you're going to be really happy with the results, the way they come out. So that's about it for this video. Let me tell you some of the things that are coming up because I've been sort of quiet for the last week. <laughs> so I've got a couple of uh, review videos coming up and uh, we'll be covering some tips and tricks in them as well. I know a lot of people, I know the review videos, they don't get a whole lot of watch time and I probably shouldn't even do them uh, for the channel. When I mean channel wise, if I want to get more subscribers and if I want to get more watch time, well, then I should stop doing the reviews. But I've noticed in the comments that a lot of you folks out there want to see the reviews on these different lasers and that's why I'm continuing to do it, even though they have low watch time and uh, you know, they're not popular videos. For some people, they are. And I believe that, uh, you know, I want to make content for everybody, uh, maybe in every different direction with layers, lasers, so that you can uh, enjoy what I do. If you don't enjoy the review videos, then don't watch them. But I've got a couple of 20-watt uh, reviews coming up, as well as the new Monport 40-watt Lightburn CO2 laser. I've got that one on the bench right now. In fact, it's running a test. I'm looking at it right here on camera. Uh, I'm running all of my grayscale tests. I'm running my image tests. I'm trying to put together a better library for this machine. Uh, and I've been working pretty hard this whole week on three different lasers. So that's why I've been a little quiet this week. But um, don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to be back at it in another, say, two weeks or so. Uh, by November, I would say, for uh, some Thanksgiving designs, and uh, we'll get out some Christmas designs and things like that, uh, and get out some freebies for you all to, to uh, download and do yourself. So don't worry about it. Uh, we're just, I'm just taking some time right now 
to do the reviews on these videos for y'all. And then come November, we'll be back into pure design like we did today and making things. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video today as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And as always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.